guys, I'm here with a couple of quick projects to share with you. I actually made, it's not a couple, it's like five different things, and these are going to two different people, but I just wanted to kind of lump them all into one video, and I will start by showing you some of the um, smaller items that I made, and I'll work up to the larger ones. The first thing I made was a card, and this card is using the Vintage Bride Collection. It's a principal collection from Luisa Diaz. Very pretty to work with, lots of creams and purples and peaches, and as you can see, you can mesh it pretty well with pink, which I love. I love to mesh things with pink, because you guys know that's one of my favorite colors. And then I also spritzed one of the papers to make it match kind of the other collection I wanted to use here, which I used a few pieces from the Divine Collection. Um, and it held the sprays pretty well, which I was impressed with because I didn't know when I printed it from the computer if it would hold sprays, and it did. So this is just a quick card that I made, and I used one of those new laces that I just got, which is the um, Venice lace that has the flowers on it. And I love this lace because you can cut apart the little leaves and the flowers, and that's exactly what I did is I just cut off all the leaves, and I cut off um, the flower bits, and then I glued them in places I used. And I or I glued them in places that I wanted to use them. So I really like the way that that turned out. Very simple card, maybe took a half hour to put together. So I was really um, happy with how easy these papers were to work with. And all of these little ephemera pieces, these three on the front, are from that vintage bride collection. So I thought it was really cool. Um, the other thing that I made also with the vintage bride collection was this little box. And these are some of the purple sheets from the collection, which I love. I love these. Um, I love this one. This one's my favorite. It's got like globes on it and um, script. Really, really like that. And then this is another favorite from the collection, the Weathered Wood, which is what I used on the card, except I sprayed it with the Lindy Stamp Game Magnolia Magenta Gold. And then there's that purple paper again in the middle. I love that. And these images are also from the collection, and so are these tickets. Very fun collection to work with. And I like that you can print as many of whatever sheet as you want. So that's that's nice. And it's very inexpensive. I will um, link that below. The embellishments on this box are all from Annie's shop. Almost all of them are. These two laces are from Annie's shop, who's Miss Garden Grove 1 on here. And these are some really pretty, funky flowers that she just sent me. These peach ones and this white one here. And then this beautiful candy gem, peach candy gem. And then these really pretty glittered leaves. Those are all from Annie's shop. And I loved working with them. Really fun and just a, a great compliment to this paper collection. Loved it. So that's the little box I need. And I love decorating these. These are just those 99 cent boxes from Michael's. And they're quick. They only take a couple of hours to decorate. And it's a nice way to send a gift to a friend. Some other little things I made. This was an old Prima bottle that I had. Um, it had those, it used to carry those tiny little flowers. And I... Uh, sanded it first and then I gessoed it and added some paint and then I sprayed several different Lindy Stamp Gang colors as well as Tattered Angels. I just kind of mixed and matched some purples and pinks and then I glued some laces all around. A couple of these are vintage laces. These two are and then this one is just that really pretty pink bow lace that I've got. The new one I've got. I love it. And then on the front I just have some doilies and some and a little wedding applique that I had. I think I got that one from Bonnie. So thank you, Bonnie. And then on the top, I just, it's actually, it's uh, open. You can open it. And on the top, I just covered it with lace, some rolled fabric. And I've been using this a lot lately. I'm looking around to see if I put it anywhere that I can show you. It looks like basically a roll of ribbon, this pink stuff that I've got. But I got it in a vintage lot. And it is like a chiffon fabric, and it's an old vintage fabric. I love it. I've been using it like crazy. I need to slow down on it. <laughs> but anyway, this is the top, and I have just a rosette on the top, and then a handmade doily, and an industrial chic little gem on the top. And then I like that the bow is in the back, so whenever I close the bottle, I try to make sure the, the bow stays in the back, because I, I like that look. Almost like you've got a you know, like a corset or something. You've got the bow in the back. The other thing I went to match the bottle is an altered hourglass. And this hourglass was kind of challenging to alter because 
you have to remember that an, an hourglass can flip either way. So I started cutting out pieces of a paper collection to put on there and then I realized it's not going to really work out the way I want because, you know, if to be a true hourglass they have to be able to flip it. So I just stuck to using laces and trims and, you know, some different little tool flowers and then some rosettes on the top and the bottom. And no matter which way it turns, it will look like it's sitting upright. So this was actually um, a, a difficult thing to take apart and put back together. Well, taking apart was fairly simple. It was putting back together that was really difficult because all these little pieces were, these were metal uh metal poles and so I sanded them and gessoed them and painted them and all that good stuff but then when you went to screw them back in both sides the whole thing came apart so you had to make sure the glass was set just right in the middle and put on the two ends and screw the these things back together and they have rubber stoppers on each end and it just it would not go <laughs> it took me literally an hour to sit there and screw just these three things back in together so once it was finally put together I was very happy but the whole thing has been, like I said, sanded and painted, and there's um, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays all over it, which you can't really see a whole lot now because they've been covered. You can see some right there, though. And I did this pretty much the same way I altered my globe a while back. And there you have it. So there's the sprays, and you can see some texture on there as well. So this is going to a friend. And that's the altered hourglass. If you have any questions about how I put it together, just just ask below. I don't want to go into too much boring detail, but you know all the basics were just sanding, painting, spraying, and then gluing my embellishments on once it was put back together. And the final thing that I've made, I've actually made about three of these already, but two of them I can't show you yet because they're for swaps. But this is um, a lace book, and I got the tutorial from Janet who's uh, Scrap and Happy XO on here and I'll put a link to her channel below as well and she made this really cool lace book out of just paper and a little bit of chipboard on the binding so the only thing I did was I modified it so that the whole front and the whole back is chipboard so that it was more um, more of a keepsake rather than just a way to send the laces. So it is a way to send the laces, but it's also more of a keepsake album, which is also how Sabrina did her. She made me one recently, which I love and I have on display already. And she did the same thing. She had cardboard on the front. So um, I had been planning to make one for myself. And then since Sabrina made me one, I decided just to make them for other people <laughs> because I don't need one anymore. So I used the Jody Lee... Uh, art journal paper stack for this uh, lace book here. And like I said, I'll link the, tu the tutorial below, so I'm not going to really explain how I made it, just kind of explain some of the things inside. And I glued just two pieces on either side, that way you can, these will tie into a bow to close it. I don't have the laces in there yet, though I wanted to show you before I put them in there. And what I did is I left a little bit of space in the front to put one of these altered stick pin holders and it's just held with velcro and then when you open it it's just got some stick pins inside just some handmade stick pins and I made that actually using a tutorial from Louisa Diaz and then on the inside I just stuck let me see if you can see that styrofoam so that the pins would stay in and they wouldn't wiggle around in shipping and then the book itself has five pages and I'm going to fill them with laces and then the first one I've already put a vintage lace on here and then the back just is plain. I was thinking of maybe gluing an envelope on there or something. I haven't decided yet, but that's the lace booklet. And then, like I said, you just tie the, the bow in front, and then you have a closed book. On the back, I just have a handmade flower and then some rosettes, and I have some more rosettes on the binding. Same thing up here. I've got those rosettes on the binding and then just different appliques and a charm and lace. So that's it. I hope that the ladies are, that are going to receive these soon will like them. And one of them, like I said, is going to somebody that I just want to send some extra goodies to. And then the other stuff is going to, I have a friend whose birthday was earlier this month, and I am very late. I was late last year, too, so I guess it won't be a surprise to her. I was late last year. I'm late this year. Maybe next year, right? So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will link everything below that I mentioned in the description box. So thanks guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.